let's get into it with the first mm. question, which is, what is your favorite word? My favorite word? Mm. <sighs> Authenticity. Mm. What's your least favorite word? You're going to see a pattern. But say that again. You, what you broke... is what, what is your least favorite word? Oh, uh, my least favorite word. I would say uh, scammer. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I know why. <laughs> uh, cool. Yes, I have been scammed. Yeah, we all have in some ways, um, even yeah. if not directly and implicitly. Oh yeah. Um, what turns you on easy in a spiritual intellectual or emotional capacity mm, i love seeing a, a, any whether it be through watching a film tv show in an acting class or anything just somebody just really uh really getting deeply connected to what they're doing with the other person mm. i love that so much it's great because you know they're kind of having a discovery or an aha for themselves in that moment, right? It's kind of shivers kind of my beautiful. spine every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Conversely to that question, what turns you off? <sighs> Scammers. <laughs> yes, that too. I, I think I, the first thing that came up is just this, um, just anybody who's trying too hard. I did. I think like the the try hard nature, the 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 push of. I need to be seen. The I desperation, that kind the of desperate vibe. Right. Yeah. I think we're all kind of, as a human race, wired to sort of feel, something weird about that vibe and energy. Anyway, you know what I mean. Well, we're all looking for answers. Don't get me wrong. We all are. Sure. But the the things that we're, we're pointing towards the wrong things for the answers, we need to be pointing to ourselves. So it's always a real big turn off when people are like, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I've been a corporate of it. I haven't even been recently at sometimes, but I catch myself these days and go, oh, <laughs> I'm being one of these people who keeps like, no, 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 just please tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me what it is I need to do. Right. That, that it doesn't work. Sure. What's your favorite swear word, which may come up when you're in those moments, to be fair, I don't know. This is a dangerous one for you. But, it, I mean, because it could be I, really obvious. Or you mine's, could the most mine's the most grotesque one. And yeah. like, I know how much it triggers people. <laughs> I, well, you can't, no, no, yeah. Cunt. I love yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought you were going to go. I think it's just so blunt and cutthroat and. I love, I love blunt po point of views. I just, I love that. You know where you stand if someone calls you that. It's not like, you know, fuck is a great one, but it has different, you can use it in so many different ways. Whereas that one's pretty, pretty much cut and dry. You know, also, I've also experienced that being thrown around in spaces of fun a lot. Okay. I think that's also about like a lot of like kind of banterous, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And a lot of us, and when I was in Australia for about nine months as well, like it was thrown around loads there because that's the Aussie way of they, how they frame it. And I think that's really fun. And I think it's really fun if you don't take something so seriously. Ultimately, it's, it's words, right? Like the words yeah. only have meaning based on the meaning and stories we give them. Yeah. Um, you can say something to somebody as a word that could really offend them, but then someone else could say the same kind of thing to them in a different context with a different energy. And actually, the response is totally different. So it's, yeah, not getting too caught up and too serious with it all. Uh, yeah. What's your favorite sound or noise? <laughs> no, not what first came into your head. No? Okay. It's a PG show. It's a PG show. It's, it's not a PG show. It's, it's you just a PG about show. 10 times. Yeah. Yeah. I Farts are hilarious. Isn't that great? I, love <laughs> I look, me and I, I grew. I came up, grew up with my my best, my best dear friend Robbie. Of all two years old, we grew up together, and like I, I was in the West Midlands, and like you know, it just just like, I grew up in a lad energy, and yeah. I still I have a stag group, like the like his stag group, my my Robbie's um, stag group, WhatsApp group. That's what I was looking for. 
still exist today. And there's just really childish, like, fart sounds being recorded directly from somebody being nice. sent over, which I play, and then it makes me laugh. <laughs> and so I think it's just funny. And like, I, it's like, I like toilet humor. I, th- I think those sounds are funny. I think more people do than are open to admitting. Yeah, they don't admit it, yeah. It's like, you know, Terrence and Philip in South South Park with the most genius Uh, character. Hey, Terrence, pull my finger. There you go. It's it's funny. Terrence and Philip are awesome. I remember one of my friends who'll hate me for saying this, but Klaus, if you ever watch this, you'll know. Um, Klaus uh, is a friend from Germany who's like a professor. And back in high school, he was like super just like diligent. And I was like the only one who had the Terrence and uh, not even that, the South Park movie VHS. I would like loan that out to people as a, I was like a blockbuster video in some ways. Um, Cause I was in Spain. So I had the English stuff. People loved it. And he came to my house and watched the South Park movie. And there's a scene, I don't know if you remember where Terrence and Philip go on the Conan O'Brien show and they do like a fart joke. And then, um, Brooke Shields is on the show with them and she just looks at them and goes oh I once farted on the set of Blue Lagoon and they just pause look at her and they're like Psh! and they're like Terrence slaps her and she goes flying across the room and smashes into this drum set and then they just go into like fart jokes yeah. yo my yes. friend Cl- my friend Klaus like lost his shit he was like oh oh my god rewind rewind <laughs> again <laughs> Rewind. That is my favorite moment as well. Is when something you have to play things around. Oh, so I must have rewound that VHS to that moment like at least ten times, and every time he found it even more and more hilarious because it's that toilet humor. And this is the most straight laced dude that you could probably have come across, but that broke him. And I'm like, yo, we all have that I love inside that. of us. I also had that moment when uh, in, in, in Friends, when Ross and Rachel are in Vegas and they're really drunk in the hotel room and he goes, like, and Joey walks in and he goes like, yeah, you need anything? I'm your guy. And he slaps him on the chest and Ross goes to sit down when there's no chair there and he falls over and he gets up and he goes, oh, oh, oh are you okay? <laughs> that moment for me, I, me and my friend watched that same reaction, re-round it about 10 times. I love those moments that get you. Those like, are great. Those are great. Yeah, fart sounds the best. There you go. Okay, so next question is, what sound or noise do you hate? Um, <laughs> that noise is what you're doing right now. <laughs> um, I mean, last orders at the bar, Bell. <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay. Wolverhampton till the end. I love it. That's right. That's um, what profession, other than your own, or the ones that you've done, would you most like to attempt? Good question. Uh, I I don't know what, like something like maybe it was either like a marine biologist type uh, thing. Uh, anything to do with kind of like exploration of the world. So like, you know what I mean? Any, any of those forms, you know, like, I mean, what David Attenborough does is incredible. Mm-hmm. Like I would love his job. I think his job's amazing. Um, I know I did marine, I chose marine biology because I, I love scuba diving, but anything that just informs me more about the world, the nature that, that we live in, I would love, mm. I would be so indulged in that. And what profession would you definitely not want to do under any circumstance? An accountant, man. I yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it is well, because I'll be cast as accountant. It kind of wasn't in the last film we did together anyway. So like sort that. of. Yeah, it was sort of his profession before he needed the job. Um, yeah, man, I just like, I, I, I love that there are people who will take care of us and like they love that. And yes. Easy, because thank God, grateful for all of you, grateful for my own. Yeah. Uh, but hell no. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> hell no. Yeah, hell I hear you. No. I hear you. Um, okay, last question, and then uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up. When it's all said and done, all the smoke's cleared. Ugh, yes. what, yeah, what would you like the story of your life to be? The story of my life to be? To other people? Just to me? Oh, well, let's not pull on that thread. Just whatever I, hits you. When I always think, like, the one thing that like, I always think is just, like, that it was just really worth it. And that could mean... That's, that's enough. for me. Just, that's like, enough. that it was really fucking worth it, man. But that's, you know... You know 
it's an ambiguous question, right? It doesn't have to have a rhyme or reason to it. Yeah. I mean, you know, if we're going to go into details of it, it would be like just to, just to have enjoyed everything, like everything that every up and down, I've enjoyed it all, embraced it all. And that's also, uh, you know, collectively with other people that we, we embrace that together and understand it from each other's perspective so that we gain better perspective. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, man. If it's just to like, just gain perspective for each other, for ourselves and each other, God, yeah, that'd be great. Cause that's Love just going to create a kind of, uh, more informed world uh, of, with humanity over all the other things that we focus on, you know? 